All right, hey folks, welcome back, Slay the Spire. Um, I was in the middle of recording another thing, but it went so terribly that it died in the first floor, so I said, you know what, I'm not going to play that because... What's the point of it? So, we're starting again! And this time we're, we're, we're gonna... We had some fun with you, but we're gonna go back to the Ironclad because... I feel like I played it enough, and regardless of what happened last round, because that was the worst round I've ever had with this character, we're uh, embarking on. And this guy is very snarky with his T Zinc whale. How'd you even get here? Am I like serving you? Yeah, you brought me back. Oh, Jesus, I guess I don't have a choice if I die on the first floor? I guess that's a thing now. I just noticed that now. It's just the first time I ever died in the first floor. But anyway, I always look for getting a vendor late in the run, and there's definitely none too early. So if I go fight, 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 maybe camp, see how much money I have when I get to here, whether or not I go elite. Or go to the vendor, I don't know, because there's another vendor late into the round, and I don't want to come across a vendor too early. Because sometimes they have really good items, and I feel like they're never actually going to be displayed. Like, I feel like the first time I see them is the first time you're ever going to see them in the rest of the run, so there's no point in actually seeing them until you feel like you have enough money. And it's going to be at least like 270 I feel, is usually around a good price for a good time. Or good amount to have so you can get a decent relic that's actually useful. Otherwise, you've got a hundred bucks, and I just nailed the mic again because I have to itch my arm. You have a hundred bucks, and you're like, that is an amazing relic. There is no way I can get it right now. I am very upset. Taking a lot of damage this first uh, fight because this little dour looking guy with a shepherd's hook, it feels like he is not dead this turn, so we're. That was a bit overkill, but whatever. Yes, Rake Me, as Nirvana said in their controversial song from the mid-90s. Although, when it was played on the radio, I think it was called Wraith Me? I guess it made sense, or it didn't matter if it made sense, it just needed to pass censor. 13 damage that time, actually got rid of 6 of it. Disarm's fantastic, we're taking Disarm. It's a permanent 2 strength debuff that lasts the entire combat round. Granted, a lot of the people that you fight will have a way of buffing themselves. Okay, that's fine, you'll have 3 HP, you're dead next turn. He's just debuffing us to make us vulnerable. Just weaken, that's pretty bad. I'll take a hit. You are dead. I am not taking any damage this turn, so I'm not I probably should have vulnerabilized you instead, but I didn't. Yes, weaken me again. This guy does a lot of weaken stacks. Well, I'm not gonna take I'm I'm gonna weaken you now, buddy. Take a hit of damage, and you are dead next turn. You are dead. Heal me back. Fire potion. Fantastic. Um, should I start going a wound deck? This is really useful for debuffs because I don't feel like I de I'm going to go with the one. Um, keep fighting monsters. This dude's flagging down a, sh a plane that's about to land. We're going to start pounding on you now. He's going to strength buff himself now. Since he wasn't attacking me, no point in buffing myself with armor. We're going to defend, so I only eat a point of... Actually, I'll eat no points of damage. I laugh at your attacks, although the next one you're going to go back up to one. You are not dead this turn. That's fine. Hopefully next turn you are. Lead to damage because I'm still in that 6 HP window. 10 damage. Are you dead this turn? 8, 2, do two vulnerable, 50% more. You are dead. 
Are you? Yes, you are. There we go. Math, folks. It will come in handy at some point. Um, I feel I should get more armor. I'm going to go with that. Keep fighting some enemies. We're not going to have anywhere near enough gold, I think, for the first vendor to make it worth it. We're going to bash. These both do... Well, we're not taking any damage, so we'll go for the greater amount. And since this guy splits to HP... 50% HP, what I like to do is spin around getting as close to half HP, and then afterwards when the next round comes up, just dump as much damage as possible into him. Um, so we're super close. Half of 65, let's do that. 60, 60, 30, 30, so it's about 33. He will transition over if I do this, because I believe it rounds up, so I'm going to just play Evolve and end it there. So now I'm going to try to dump as much damage into him now so when he splits, both of his little Winnie brothers won't have that much HP. There's no point in vulnerable him, vulnerabilizing him now. So it'll do 8 to 2 vulnerable 50%, so that's just going to make it 9. So 8 and 9 actually is 17 instead of 12, so I should. So now he's interrupted. Can I drink two energy so I can do two strikes. I think I'm going to because the potions are good enough to come by and this is valuable enough to uh, get as much health out of him as possible so there's only two that have 13 HP. That's great. And they're both not attacking again. Iron Wave. Bam. Bam. That dude's dead. He's going to just frail me some more. I'm fine with that. You're going to attack? Nope. You don't want to attack me. I'm not going to tell you to do it, so you do you, buddy. Alright, so is there anything I've noticed so far in my deck that we don't have? Nothing really. Maybe lacking a bit in damage. And out of all of these, I guess Thunderclap if I open with it, because Vulnerable will go away after the turn is played, which is kind of bad. I don't want a vendor, don't give me one. Okay, this is Weenie Patrol. Nobody dies this turn. Actually, someone does die this turn. Who's more important to get rid of? Mm, 6, 12, 17. The highest HP person I can get rid of is one of these two. This guy's going to do a debuff on me that causes me to do less damage, but this guy does a huge ass shield, so I feel like kill you. And then eat five damage. You're dead next because you do a huge damage attack, I think, this turn. Or he's getting close to it. Thunderclap all of you. I guess we'll pop you. And eat another 5 damage this turn. So I guess next turn he's going to do a huge damage attack. Yep. Grandpa finally summoned up 20 points worth of damage. 25, excuse me. And, god damn it. We're going to eat all of that damage this turn unless I throw I have to throw a fireball at him. How awful is this? And you're dead because you're stupid fucking How do you how can you even attack with a hammer? Like are you like holding it behind your head? That is like the most impractical way of holding a hammer. Far be it for me to tell you how to live your life, buddy, but Jesus Christ, man. How, you're not going to get the most. That's why you're only frailing me for one instead of probably more. Shrug it off. Useful. Take it. More armor. Uh, where's another vendor? That's a long ways away. I still don't feel like we, enough, we have enough money. I got to go for this. If it's the three sentinels, and of course it is. Hmm. Well, we're going to negate some damage here. Not all of it, and we're going to start getting wounds shoved into our deck. 
Out of all the elites, I guess, I hate this one the most. Although, granted, I should probably hate the one that killed me in the last run I had that did not make the recording. I guess so much armor in this, unless I get an attack of some sort. I feel like I should just, I guess, keep armoring up, because... It's going to be a while till we get to a camp. Or whatever you want to call it. So much damage. I don't really have a lot of group clear that gets rid of their debuff. 8 damage. I don't have any uh, whatever you want to call it this turn. That's terrible. I'm going to eat 8, I'm going to eat eight damage. So I guess we're just going to keep focusing down. Oh, not enough energy. Focusing down 1. We're going to get a bunch of wounds in our deck now. So, usually you can tell how bad your hand's going by at least the first elite that you fight, and this is no exception. Zero, we have one attack this turn. And again, this is going badly. We're not going to take any damage this turn, but we're just going to eat more wounds. Got all the protects or whatever you want to like armor ups this turn. Really wishing I can get that thunder wave. All right, no one is doing any damage to me this turn. We're going to just start vulnerabilizing some people. Yes, that's an adjective. I made it. It's an English word. If it's a word you can actually pronounce, it's a word. Gergaflach is a word. You can just... Jesus, look at all those wounds. And we have... Not... Oh, we do have one def one attack in our entire hand because we're just getting wounds shoved down our throat. We're choking to death. The horror, the agony, the awfulness of this deck. This is the one card I needed. My hand's full. I wish I got that sooner. Do I shrug it off now? No one's attacking me. I just need to kill one of these now. There we go. I think I probably have more wounds than actual cards in my deck now. That's just the way love goes sometimes. Wound, 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 wound. <laughs> and this time we got zero armor in our hand. Whatever. He's dead next turn. Took so much damage this 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 hand this round. Give me any attack. He lives. He does not live. I was about to curse God and all of creation. Max HP by 7. That's great. Uh, headbutt. We'll take that. Question mark. Not be a vendor. Uh, you had to be a vendor. Choose and upgrade a power. No. First turn of each combat. Apotheosis, I need. That's just upgrading. That's amazing. I need that. I'm really mad that I spent the money for it, but I cannot pass it up. That's the role, I guess, with question marks, is sometimes you run across one you're not ready for. I should... I'm not going to elite yet. I'm going to go question mark, then that way. I don't want to go to attack that elite yet. Gain gold, lose HP. Hmm. Fallen Apollos made a slime blue friend earlier. You call yourself out several minutes as you feel the goop starting to burn. I have that problem sometimes. Waking up in the middle of the night. Don't ever get old, folks. It's bad news. If I'm out of it, gold is missing. Do I gather... I mean, lose... I need... This is better because I lose less HP. It's still terrible. Alright, give me a relic. Shovel. I can dig for loot. Well, a lot of these campfire things I, I'm not a fan of. Granted, there's like one or two that are okay, but... I don't know what this loot... Do I get a relic? Do I get more money? Gold? What? I need to rest. As much as I hate it. Random relic. Let's look at the map real quick again. Uh, it's my last rest before the end... 
I need to rest. We'll see how the rest of the, the, the rounds go before I dig anything up, because... A lot of these campfire ones, I ain't, I'm, I'm not too fond on. Fond of, on, whatever you want to call it. We are definitely apotheosis-ing. Um, let's see, should I... Defend, headbutt, strike? Who's going to do the most... Well, I don't have any way of getting rid of any of the damage I'm about to eat. So I feel I should negate some of it first. Um, headbutt. You... Can I kill you this turn? I cannot kill you this turn. Alright, fine. Eat 16 minus 8, 8 damage. I'll take half, I guess. He's going to do another bunch of damage to me. We're going to kill you. We're going to disarm you. You're going to do four damage. You're not going to do four damage. I got to start playing a little less aggressive now and try to block as much damage as possible. Thunderclap. Vulnerable. I've blocked all damage you're about to do and now start pouring it on. That's fine. I don't care. Can I kill you this turn? Mayhap. Yep, you're dead. Alright. Gonna gain six back. Another strength potion. Card draw. Should I get... Card draw. I need card draw. Alright. We're definitely not gonna have enough money to make it worth going to the vendor next. Anybody dying this turn? You do six damage, so I'm gonna try to... You're dead. Give me back Pommel Strike. I just need to block five damage, so I will. He's going to weaken me, so I won't do as much damage. That's fine. Again, just playing it a bit safer than I probably need to, just so I can regen as much health as possible. This almost negates everything I'm about to take, so we're going to Pommel Strike. No way anybody dies this turn. I mean, I could disarm... As a matter of fact, I think I will, just so I take one point of damage instead. I'm fine with this. Gotta play smart. Gotta, gotta think. That's exactly what I'm doing with these weird fuzzy things. There you are, Apotheosis. Could have used you sooner. And... Do you die this turn? No, but I will get rid of the... One attacking, that's fine. You're just buffing yourself up to do more damage. You're dead next turn unless I get a bunch of armor. Which I have gotten only in the past. But you're dead. Great. Apotheos is fantastic card. Glad I got it. Swift. Alright, shrug it off more. I'm not sold with corruption just because... I don't want to exhaust all these skills. So I'm just going to, I guess, get more card draw. Not ready to go to the vendor. I'm going to ignore it. Just because I don't want to have that issue of... Oh, apotheosis. We're definitely using that. 11 damage. We'll err on the safe side. Again, we're looking to get about to 36 if we can for a turn and then go nuts the one afterwards. So we're going to bash you. We're going to disarm, so I only take 8 damage this turn. And maybe this turn I'm going to knock him down to 36 and then we can... Uh, 13, we're going to shrug it off, so I only take 2. Headbutts. I think I just put him at the... God damn it, I did. Curse you. Alright, 2 of them with 20, I guess that's fine. Probably kill one a turn. We're going to shrug it off. Iron wave. Take zero damage this turn. Get weakened, I believe these things do it. And I can't tell if I'm just hearing noises in my head or if these things have weird little fart noises they make when you fight them. Like if you ever went to this overkill, five damage, I'd rather do this. 
if you ever went to a grocery store back in the day and you bought that shitty little goo or whatever the hell they called it at vending machines for 25 25 cents it had that awful smell to it and then you would forget it on your table get knocked over and then get find all of the dust and all the crap that was lying around your room that would never get out of the goo it was gone it's like when you had that little sticky hand toy that was elastic that you could like whip back and forth the second it landed on anything that wasn't hard surface it just absorbed lint hair anything and just did not get a like retained stickiness in any way should i palm i'm gonna palm strike what do i get we're gonna evolve just so i can i guess get some card draw although i don't know how useful that is we're not getting a wound anywhere, I guess. We're just getting vulnerable. Thunderclap. We're going to headbutt. Oh. Pay attention to what's happening. I was, like, in my own little zone here. Fire potion. We're going to get rid of you. Discard. Give me that. Take that. Hmm. Clash, I guess. We'll see. We're going to rest. Now, at this point... I feel I have enough in my hand where I can live. Unless it's that one awful fireball guy. We're going to dig up a relic. Whenever I play a power heal, 2 HP. That sounds fantastic. Is it the fireball? It's not. This guy's okay. I have to deal 30 damage to get him to mode shift. We're going to get ourselves a little bit of card draw. We healed apparently off that. We'll start ticking up the damage we're going to get on Rampage. And maybe next turn or the one afterwards. If we can't do enough damage, I can definitely throw a fireball at him. Because I definitely don't want to eat 32 damage. So I won't. I'm going to throw a fireball. Uh, I don't know what noise I was making there was. Oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, whatever. We'll play that. So, I think I have enough damage where I can get him to um, Iron Wave. Should I keep rampaging now? I don't think I'm going to die in this fight, so I'm going to keep ticking up the damage with Rampage. So I think he's in this form three turns. I could be wrong, but I'm going to start shrugging it off. We're going to disarm you. Apotheosis, of course. I can't clash because of wound. Thunderclap. I probably shouldn't have Thunderclap. I could have used another card instead. But I'm just stacking up, I guess, vulnerability to last for another turn. He's going to stack himself back up to 40. I have to do. I should be able to with the vulnerable. I got zero card. Ed butts you. Give me back that. Uh, I probably should have been smarter but we're not gonna I don't think we're gonna die this floor that's fine whirlwind all you want I'm fine I laugh at your damage I'm a big boy boom he mode shifted before I thought he was going to not attacking me so I guess we'll do that he's at just under 50 percent now or sharp hide should I go balls out now? I think I will. Drink that potion. We're going to... Rampage to start. Pommel strike. Cannot clash. We're gonna do seven damage. I think I'm going to... Negate the damage. For a turn. If he was down to like 30 or 40, then yeah, I would probably feel more confident in uh, taking that Reflect damage. Iron Weave, that's fine. 15. So if I do this, he's going to do 3 damage. We're still up over the threshold. Great. Perfect. So now he is dead. He's dead, Jim. I just dropped a pen on the floor. This is embarrassing. Exactly lethal. Oh, this went way better than the... Sorry, grabbing something off the floor. 
I am not an old man. I just play one. On YouTube, I guess. So this has went better than the last one that you guys won't see. Should I get the relics or two relics when defeated? I feel this emphasizes me actually fighting more elite, so maybe I should get it. Obtain one potion, one gold. This is okay if I get really shitty curses. We're doing it. Let's see what we get. Okay, this one's bad. This one, these two are pretty ignorable. But regret can be bad. What did we get? Two random skills. Oh, we're double blocks. Reflect damage. Happy flower's pretty good. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this. But hey, now we're on level two. And that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did or didn't, please let me know in the comments below. If you could, favorite, subscribe, tell me all you want to about how bad I'm doing in this game. If you bought the game yourself, you should. It's early access. If you don't feel like playing early access, I totally get it. But hey, this game's pretty fun as it is right now. And thank you all for watching. Come back tomorrow as we keep slaying Aspire. Floor 2. We'll see you then.